and three times filter. New Amsterdam is in your corner with award winning vodka. Two more hard low kicks landed. Right in his posture. 
his presence is very intimidating in there. He stands very tall, and he's just really big, so he's constantly kind of in your space, never allowing you to feel comfortable. He throws those kicks with no telegram. And he doesn't even put his full body weight into it. He doesn't turn the hips over. That's one of the reasons why he lands them so well, because you don't see the shift in his shoulders. One of the things about that right hand that Izzy landed at the end of the first round, that hurt for Hader. He was fainting jabs, throwing them. On that one, he threw it out there, and he left it there, just like that. And he followed it with the right hand once he had figured for Hader's rage. Pineda to the body, then attacks that lead leg of Adesanya. Is he faints? Is he keep popping those faints at him, trying to get him to stop moving forward? But he is trying to get closer though. Good all, body attack. All these strikes, man. Such high level kickboxing technique. Neither one of them showing each other when the kick or the punch is coming. Another hard work kick. Izzy has an angry look in his face. He does. Very locked in. And that is sort of mirrored his work for much of the week. Another calf kick landed. He's already taking too many of those calf kicks. He knew that he had to address that. Benner continues to attack that body of Pereira here. Under a minute to go, round one. And doing it from the southpaw stance. So changing up the way or the stance that he's attacking Pereira in. Good left hand connection by Adesanya, so it appeared. Pereira seemed to lean out of the way of that one as he caught him on the arms. But just leaning back would not seem to be the best way to avoid the strikes of Israel Asanya. He will make a read to try to get to you. But to this point, very competitive round, as we always expect when we see these two. Another hard low kick to that calf. And Izzy, in the orthodox position, has got a, a light front leg to try to check that. But my head is so good at hiding it. But Pajeda's done such a good job of beating up that leg already. Uh, we're ready to the champion Alex Pajeda to the corner. Nice, nice. Everything's great, beautiful, okay? Listen, he, he's already feeling the leg. He's already feeling the leg. Listen, he, 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 I got him. I got him really good. He's, he's going to try to crawl on this one. Listen, he was, pre he was prepared for this. Listen, breathe, Bolton, breathe. Okay, listen. I, 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 I'm running around there. I, I'm getting the right. I'm coming off for his right. Touch a little bit. Needs 
control these exchanges. He should not just be throwing with Fajita. And he's got to stay off the cage. Nice jab by Adesanya. And now he lands a big right hand. And the thing about fight one, Fajita seemed to fatigue. We gotta remember that was the first time he went five rounds. Right. And dealt with all of that adversity in round one. But Ada landing at a 63% clip early, 31% for Izzy. He's attacking that right leg as well, that cap. And you see how defensively sound Pereira is as well. Very much present through seven minutes. Good left hand for Adesanya gets through. Nice jab. You see the difference in the power. And the crowd reaction, right? Under three minutes here, round two. Well, everyone's aware of the consequences of this guy. Boom! He catches him. Boom! He 
again, right here. And then Hammerfish, out cold. Wow. Let's look at it again. Grajeda, Grajeda, hands down, just teeing off on him. Bang! Look at that right hand. Bang, again. Left foot behind it, out cold. Hammerfish. And Stylebender regains the middleweight championship wow. of the world and reestablishes himself as one of the greatest mixed martial arts fighters of all time.